Three, two, one. Another day, another dude. Today's segment is for our winner reading sit walk stand. Mario or Bibi, I'm coming at you from my hometown, Laredo, Texas. Today's recap is over days five and six. Without further ado, hope you all enjoy the video. So our first issue was that we first needed to sit before walking. And now that we know how to sit, how should we walk? God spoke through Paul in his letters, especially in Ephesians 4 through 6, on what this walk looks like. What walk that is well-pleasing unto the Lord. And to walk in love is to walk with lowliness, with meekness, with long-suffering, to forbear one another, to put away falsehood, to steal no more, to be kind, to be obedient, to be forgiving. This puts heavenly terms into practical things, brings heavenliness to earth, into our daily living. But what more struck me was this next part. What if I got my walk down? What if I'm, you know, walking down the road that leads to glory? But, there's always a but, someone else's walk is just interfering with mine. Well, the Lord addresses this in a sermon on the mount. <clears throat> and if any man would go to law with thee and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. Whoever compels you to go one mile, Go with him too. Love your enemies. But for what? What does this do? I'm right. I'm in the right. My enemy's in the wrong. They should pay for what they've done. Actions need consequences, people. <sighs> that is right. But we're not called to be right but. or to do good. But more to be filled with life. Eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil is not what we were designed for. That was man's mistake. Our purpose is to be filled with the life of the living God. Eating from the tree of life. We were called to be sons of our Father who is in the heavens. That is our walking. Not by what is good, but by what gives life. By His grace, we were saved. By His giving. And so us, as His sons, what else is there to do but to give? <laughs> Say bye, coach. Say bye. Good girl.